This is Dr. Ryan Kazami. Uh, in this short video, I'd like to present application of a relatively new technology in bone and tissue regeneration in oral surgery uh, known as plasma-rich in growth factor or endorette. Uh, this technique isolates from patient's own blood uh, proteins which are responsible for wound healing and tissue regeneration. Once a therapeutic dose is applied to the treatment area, the repair process is accelerated. The recovery and the healing process speed up so that the risk of infection or any other post-surgical complications is considerably lessened. This process will achieve regeneration of bone in post-extraction sites, regeneration of bone around implants, regeneration of bone in bony defects, and also in areas um, after removal of cysts, also, it achieves faster wound healing and also less post-operative discomfort for a patient. Here is a patient with a complex full bony impacted upper third molar with a great risk of causing damage to the adjacent second molar. It occupies a significant space where the bone is deficient and it is also lays very close to the sinus floor. Extraction was indicated in order to uh, provide the second molar with a better bony support and a healthier environment for long-term prognosis. The extraction will certainly result in a bony defect. One option, of course, is to graft the site after the extraction in order to regenerate the bone. Another biological alternative is to place a plasma-rich in growth factor uh, clot into the site where we can stimulate the bone growth and maturation and speed up the healing process. Here is the impacted tooth exposed initially to allow its extraction. Once the tooth is extracted, we can appreciate the size of the defect as well as the sinus floor uh, with minimal bone uh, present. At the beginning of the procedure, we had already drawn two tubes of patient's own blood uh, which totaled about 18 cc's and had its centrifuge. We then isolated the plasma rich in growth factors and activated it with calcium chloride. It was then placed in a special plasma term for 10 to 15 minutes at body temperature to form the clot that we will be using uh, for placement into the site. So here is our clot on the right side and the same in form of a membrane on the left side. The formed clot, which is very rich in growth factors, can easily be manipulated for insertion into the extraction site. It's uh, simply carried over to the site and then covered with our thicker membrane, which we obtain through the same process. Once the clot is placed, then uh, the site is simply closed with a dissolvable uh, suture. This process is very quick and inexpensive and provides great biological growth factors for a better and faster healing.